welcome again to the Weekly Weapons Brief brought to you by Battlefield Vegas. My name is Rick and today we have Livio and we're going to talk about one of our more popular packages, uh, the SWAT package. So Livio is going to talk to you about what you guys can expect for those of you who are going to choose to take this package, uh, what to expect. So I turn that over to Livio. All right, thanks a lot, Rick. You're welcome. All right, guys, as always, uh, when you're shooting a package here at Battlefield Vegas, you can choose what order to shoot your guns in, just to let your RSO know. Uh, typically, we go in the order that I'm going to talk about the guns here today. Uh, we'll start out with our Remington 700. This is a precision gun, which is why we're starting out with this one. I know typically we start out from smallest and work our way up. But with precision guns, you want to be able to see your grouping on the paper. And after putting a bunch of holes in it with other guns, it's a little hard to see where you're at. Uh, and where your grouping is and see where you're hitting. So we start out with this one. A couple things to take into consideration with this gun is the first one, make sure that it's tight against your shoulder. You don't want a gap and you don't want it loose in your shoulder. You want to keep it tight because this gun doesn't have any action. There's no buffer spring to absorb any, anything. When the round goes off, all the energy is placed through the buttstock and into your shoulder. So keep that tight. The second thing is where do you place your cheek on the gun? This specific gun has a piece of tape uh, to, to let you know ideally where to place your cheek for two reasons. Eye relief, which is where how far your eye is away from the scope to give you the entire picture in the scope. The other reason is, is because you don't want to be too close to the scope. When this gun goes off, as we said before, it does have some recoil and it will move back. The, uh, every time you take a shot with this gun, you're going to move your bolt up, back, forward and down to cycle through your rounds till you get through the rounds you have on your package. When, when you're shooting for posture for this gun, instead of, we, we have a low bench on the range typically, so if you feel like you're squatting down behind the gun, instead take your firing foot, your firing side leg and place it straight back behind you to line yourself up straight with the gun. You'd be a lot more comfortable, a lot more accurate. It's a lot better than, than trying to hold a, a squat position down behind the gun. The second gun that we look into is your Glock 17. The Glock 17 is a nine millimeter handgun. What you wanna do is make sure that your hand is all the way up top behind it. Make sure that your thumbs are both pointed forward. Step forward with your non-firing foot reach out in front of you, lean forward into it, and you're gonna line up that front side with your rear sight on the paper. Next we move into your MP5. Your MP5 is also a nine millimeter, but it's a sub gun, it's heavier, so it's gonna be a little easier to shoot than the pistol. You're gonna make sure that this is tight in your shoulder. You're gonna underhand it on the front, <clears throat> the front grip with your non-firing hand. Place your cheek on the stock behind the rear sight so that you can see through the rear sight and you're gonna put that front sight, line up the front sight with the rear sight on your paper. Lean forward into this one, guys. Uh, when you have, you start out, your RSO is gonna start you out typically on single fire. It is select fire. When, you're, when you feel rowdy enough, put you into full auto. And uh, like I said, make sure you lean forward into it. Push your shoulder forward and, and make sure that your shoulders are further forward than your hips when firing anything full auto. And last but not least, we have your 12 gauge. This is a Remington 870. It's a 12 gauge pump action. Just like on your sniper rifle, there's really no action in this gun. So you, again, you wanna keep it tight in your shoulder. You're gonna hold it with your non-firing hand on the pump action itself. Lean forward into this one as well. It doesn't have a rear sight aperture. So you're just gonna look right down the sight, right through your front sight onto your paper. Every time you take a shot with this one, you're rock back, forth, in order to cycle through your rounds like you did with your sniper rifle. And that there is your SWAT package, guys. Thanks, Livio. Absolutely. I hope that was informative for you guys. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything you'd like to see, just leave it at the bottom on the comments for us. And we'll see you again next week on the Weekly Weapons Brief. Absolutely. Thanks, Rick.